That sounded really weird as soon as that came out of my mouth. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Ashley and welcome to Ashley's Roses. So, I survived my first year of college. Um, even though I am attending community college, it's still college. And I learned a lot as an individual and um, helped me grow. And there were a lot of highlights from my year. So today I'll be sharing all that with you and a few lessons that I learned. So let's get started. So as a freshman, it is definitely very helpful to have advice from other people who have gone to that school in the past. I found it very helpful of friends who were telling me, teachers who are, um, who they recommend to take or um, different courses to take and just to keep me on track because basically I don't know how it is at other colleges but at my community college basically you are on your own if you do not do something that's your fault if you don't know how to do anything that's your fault um, you basically have to learn everything yourself and it's a lot to take in and you're like wow I graduated high school I am now adulting this is a lot so I highly recommend if you're going to if you're going into college uh, either this summer or this fall to find people who you knew who went to that school in the past and um, try to find um, some advice and what they recommend for courses and teachers and such um, definitely get connected at the school. My first few weeks of school, it was torture. I hated college. I wanted to get out of the place so badly and go to the university that my best friend is going. And I'm like, I hate this so much. And I would come home in tears because this is what happened. I would end class and just go sit in my car till my next class. I would go to my car and sit there and eat lunch by myself. I was basically a loner and I hated school. I hated it. Absolutely hated it. But once you get connected, none of that matters anymore. I joined the, I auditioned for the show and which was Shakespeare's As You Like It and I'm like, you know, I might as well give this a shot. and. I got cast as Phoebe, and which I was very surprised I got cast as, and I was very excited to take on this role. And I still have a lot of long-lasting friendships from that show, and a lot of great memories. And it was a lot of fun, and then I would not um, take it back for any second because I totally. I totally loved every moment of it and learned so many things from that show about myself and about others and it was just an incredible opportunity to be able to be in that show. I also learned you're not a failure if you have to drop a class because there are people who told me, you know, you'll probably have to drop a class and that's normal. But I'm like the person who's like, you know, no, don't, don't tell me that's normal. I'm not normal. I'm not going to drop any classes. But in the fall, you know, memorizing anatomy and Shakespeare at the same time is not easy at all. It's actually very hard and I was failing the class. I'm like, you know, I need to drop this class because I cannot put the time and effort that I need to into this class. So spring came along and I took the class again and I was doing pretty good and then guess what? I was hospitalized and let's just say I was in chapter two and the class is in chapter six when I was at the hospital. I'm like there's no way I can catch up. So I dropped the class again. So it's okay if you have to take if you have to drop a class and take it again um, I will be taking the class again eventually not right now but I will one day um, but I did learn a few things in that class which is still useful to me to this day 
and I'm thankful for the teachers and the classmates that I met through that class. Um, but you know, things happen and you're not a failure for dropping a class because it will happen and it's okay. Next, try to make friends with your classmates. If you're nervous making friends in your class, that's okay because more times than not, they're nervous about making friends in that class. I made friends with people in my theater class and in my psychology class and I'm still very close with them all to this very day and I'm incredibly thankful for those friendships I have. And you know, and there's classmates that you'll get to know a little bit better and you'll have them as friends in that class, but sometimes you won't have them as friends outside the classroom, which is okay. I had that with anatomy, I had that with anthropology, but, and I had that with film class, but with theater and with math and with psychology, I had friends in that class and we're still friends to this day, which is fantastic and I love it. Next, I learned I learned that my phrase that I commonly use in theater, which is fake it till you make it, that actually sometimes applies to college. Um, there are times when you're so confused, you just gotta fake it and just keep on going and keep on chugging along until you make it. and. You don't have to know everything at once. It sometimes is a process. So I use that every day, actually. <laughs> you gotta fake it till you make it with pretty much everything sometimes. Next, I learned that you're gonna have friendships that you'll have from high school or you'll have friendships that you create there that really mean a lot to you, like a lot, a lot. Um, and sometimes those friendships don't last. Which as sad and as hard it is to say that, it's okay. Because we grow and we realize who we are as individuals and it's okay that those friendships didn't last forever. It's, it's okay that those friendships didn't last the way that we wanted it to. But, you know, I did have a few friendships that ended this past year that I was not expecting that would end. But I'm okay because I treasure the memories that I had from those friendships and you know as long as they're doing okay it's all that counts so next I learned don't procrastinate don't procrastinate um yeah I, I did procrastinate a few times not gonna lie um don't do that um yeah, that means lack of sleep and lots of coffee. So I, I really don't recommend procrastinating on your schoolwork. It's best to get it done and get it done early so then you don't have to worry about it later. Next, get to know your professors a little bit better. Um, I did not take the chance to get to know my anthropology teacher as well as I could have. But I loved my psychology teacher, I loved my theater teacher, and I'd say out of all the teachers that I have had so far, I'm the closest to my theater teacher. Like, he's just an awesome professor, and, um, you know, they're there to help you, and, um, college is very different from high school, and you can have very good friendships with your teachers. But just get to know your professors a little bit better because later on they are going to be writing your um, recommendation letters to places that you'll be going. And lastly what I learned, don't be afraid to try new things and that you're going to grow as an individual through college. You're going to develop 
into a wiser person, hopefully. <laughs> um, gonna develop into a wiser person and someone who's ready to take on more things of the world. And I look back at a few of my videos that I did during the summer of last year, right before I went to college, and it's just how much I have changed. I've become more confident in myself. I've become more confident in pretty much everything I do. I'm no longer someone who's I mean, I do have times where I'm still a little bit shy, but I'm not as shy as I used to be. I'm more confident as I am as an individual and how I present myself to others. And I'm like, hey, this is me. If you don't like who I am, sorry, this is me. And I love the amount of confidence that I have and that I have gained from college. And it's just an incredible feeling to have. And... You know, I used to just, you know, walk down the halls in college, just kind of, you know, head down kind of thing. And now I walk comfortably, head up, held high, smiling. And it's a great feeling to have. So you're going to grow as an individual in college and you're going to change, which is okay. So that's what I learned my first year of college and I'm so excited for my next year of college it is going to be challenging it is going to be a lot but I'm ready and I'm excited so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye